Okay, so tomorrow we have a big grill cookout and I'm gonna do my famous chimichurri because I've been asked a lot about my chimichurri. Chimichurri is a South American steak sauce, but you know, you can combine it with a lot of things, with your salad, with your rice, you can even try just on your meats, on different kind of meats like a steak, chicken, or even a uh, steak. So, it's very easy to make. You just need half an onion that already chopped, it's on the food processor. You need some jalapenos, in South America they're called locoto. A couple of garlic tooth. Uh, bell pepper, I am using almost all the bell pepper, I just want to show you a couple things. Cilantro and Italian pasta. This is the cilantro and the Italian pasta. And oregano. If you can find fresh oregano, that's better, but if you cannot find, you know, the, the dry oregano, that's perfectly fine because you're going to soak them later in olive oil, plastic oil, olive oil is perfect and it's gonna make it wet again and you're going to use apple cider, lemon, salt with this uh, fake salt because we have high blood pressure people here, <laughs> paprika and black pepper, okay? So, I have a food processor that my mom gave me, to my mom. I love my food processor. Most of the ingredients are here. I'm really bad at chopping, so I rather use a food processor. I use half an onion, so I don't need to chop this one. I use the garlic. What you have to do is just cut the tips of the garlic so you don't have to put it, ugh, the parts that nobody likes. When you have the jalapeno, you have to, but depending how spicy you are. You know, if you guys know me, I am very hot spicy person, but if I do that, I'm probably gonna kill my, <laughs> my significant other. So I take off the things and the seeds of the jalapeno. So it will give it a little bit of a kick, but it's not going to be crazy intense. Okay. I chop it in little pieces so the food processor doesn't have to work so hard. And then when you have the bell peppers, you have to take the veins from the bell peppers. They are really not that tasty and they don't add a good flavor. Okay? The same way. You see? Ah, not really that good on the mic. The same way I chop the bell pepper in little pieces and it goes in the food process. Good? Okay. How we work the parsley? Some people like to take the leaves by themselves. I don't like to put it on the food processor because they get too sticky. So I just like to do a little punch and I chop them myself. You have to be very patient and your knife has to be very sharp, not like mine. You're going to tell me yes and there, but you're chopping a little bit of also the, the sticks. I don't mind adding out the flavor on the sticks, you know. They're still very flavored and as long as you chop any little pieces, it's going to help. Remember this is a stick sauce and it's going to help in the flavors. Add another punch here and then chop, 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 chop. Don't look the camera, look the knife. Don't do a sander. This is a good consistency. If you want to do it smaller, it's up to you. I don't like that it's small of a piece, but also it has, it cannot be like the whole, right? The same happens with the cilantro. Okay. This is a good plan. Nice. Chop, 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 Olive oil and the ingredients are. Look, everybody is different. You just try on the flavors. I like to make it like this. This is gonna be almost increase a third with all the other ingredients I have here on the side. 
and after that I just try to top it up with olive oil and it's gonna be like one or two fingers one or two fingers of a apple cider and a couple of spoons of fresh mint. The rest is combining the salt and pepper and the paprika as you like. Easy. So let's see. My not a fresh oregano. mix a little bit all right so here we go there you go apple cider so because you have a uh, vinegar here and with the acidity also of the lemon lemon juice the more you see it, the more flavor it's just gonna become. Those flavors are gonna blend really, really good. Let's use a little bit of a fix up. Paprika. So, you know, paprika, I don't think it's that common use in South America, but I love paprika. So, don't judge. Use it. I strongly recommend it. And that's it. And that's enough. Don't look the mess. Don't look the shame. Enjoy. Bye. Now you know.